V101, Big Allen, Ashley Caprice, and we have someone here in the studio, this awesome Olympic gold medalist, WNBA champion, just Sacramento legend, Ruthie Bolton. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. It's so great to be here. So you're doing a big project tomorrow, and it's basically going to benefit everybody. Talk about that. Yeah, well, I was showing the um, documentary premiere uh, that ESPN did. They actually did it last summer, mm -hmm. and we're going to show it again here in Sacramento. This is where I've been the last 20 years. This is my second home, and I really I love the community. I love the fans, and I want to do it here because there's some people that might have questions. They've seen it, some they haven't seen it. So it's going to be an exciting time, and I really want the community, you know, moms and their daughters to come out because it's going to be a really awesome ex awesome experience mm. and what is the documentary called and what is it about it's called mighty ruthie and it just talks about my life and my journey with basketball and then how you know basketball was yeah obviously was great and then how my personal life there was some major i had some major hurdles and and how i over overcame those hurdles and and, really, and it talks about domestic violence which is uh some of the things i've had to deal with and mm -hmm. how my strength and my fight and my drive sort of became my weakness in my personal life. But, uh, but I'm excited to be there. I'm excited to be, sh to be able to share that with, with, uh, with the fans and, and really be very transparent about it. But I don't want it to be a pity party. Fear are for me because it's empowering. I want it to be an empowered moment. And there was going to be, um, and so it's only $5 to get in. And there's going to be, the proceeds go to four different domestic violence organizations like okay. Stand, uh, Stand Up Placer, uh, Empower YOLO, uh, Weave, and uh, my sister house. Mm -hmm. So uh, so everyone come out and just have a great night. Plus a lot of fans I haven't seen in a while. You know, I know. Give somebody some high fives and some, even some yeah. hugs. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be so cool. And and also, we, we talked about this a little bit earlier, that the whole stigma of domestic violence, I mean, it can happen to anybody. And it, yeah. it's not only for women to be empowered, but yeah. for yeah. men to know yes. what women go through in these yes. situations. I exactly. think it's fantastic. And I, and I think, and like, you know, we talked about the science earlier, is just really when someone, and I didn't know that I was young, and, and when someone talked down to you, when they show controlling behavior, and then generally, if it's, if it, the verbal abuse and the put down, the mind games, all that started, and then, and once there was any type of physical, yeah. And the thing about it is so hard because if you truly love that person, you, and then you end up forgiving, I forgive them, they'll never happen again. But it's like really to be aware of those signs and really to really value yourself. And you teach people how to treat you. Exactly. And really you do. And so, you know, when it happened to me in the first three months of being married, because, and then so I didn't really, you know, I would teach, I would let, I would teach him that it's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you do it whenever you want to. So I really, I don't want women to have to go through it. But there are there's some even worse stories out there. So it's just a night where we can all come together and really just share our story and be transparent, just empower each other. And, yeah. and uh, so I'm excited about it. And that's what women need. We need each other. With your story, though, you said it happened the first three months of marriage. Did, were there signs before you got married? Or I, I've heard women say, oh, once we got married, everything changed. Yeah, sometimes there's not. I know we we dated maybe for like a year and mm -hmm. sometimes they put on their best foot. So I didn't really see any signs. Yeah. But um, but I think sometimes the only thing I saw was a very the micromanager when you when you date this cute and they wanna know everything, mm -hmm. where you going, every man, oh it's so cute in the beginning. But then that's sort of a sign of control and it really not giving you independence in. So uh, but yeah, but sometimes you might not see it, but once you see it, you really gotta get help. And I would say really, really don't go through this by yourself if you're in a situation mm. not to go through it alone be able to trust someone and open up about it mm. because really for a long time i didn't realize how unhealed i was because this happened years ago yeah and i just started talking about it two years ago and it was so hard yeah. so i think that you really got to be able to open up uh, that, that that rings so true for me in my life because my mom and my biological dad um they divorced when i was like one and it was very domestic violence relationship you know punching and kicking and the whole thing but she had help she had my grandmother on my mom's side mm -hmm. and grandma on my dad's side to help her get out of that situation mm -hmm. and protect themselves so that's the kind of things you guys will be talking about the panel discussion oh yeah definitely it is there'll be survivors be talking about what they've gone through because everyone's situation is different mm -hmm. and, and a person there you want to encourage them and the worst thing you can do and i want to point out is that if someone as a friend say you know to put that person down him or put him down because if you love him you want to protect him and you would stay longer if they constantly talk about him so really you put emphasis on you know what 
you deserve more. We love you. We're, um, we're just on call away. And just really focus on building her up and not putting him down. Because Good. the more you put him down, the longer she'll try to protect him and stay. Right. And it's giving more light, life to that situation. Life, exactly. So I, I like that, too, that you said that you have some survivors coming to speak instead of, you know, some people feel like, oh, if you're in a domestic violence situation, that the women are victims. But no, yeah. you're saying that I overcame yeah. this. I come out, came out of it. I'm about to have a screening for it. Yeah. I'm about to do it for all of Sacramento. About to help other women in yes. this situation. Mm -hmm. So I love that you have become victorious in all of this. Yes, and that's yeah. why you know my book, From Pain to Power, because we all have gone through pain, mm -hmm. and and adversity can make us better, make us bitter, make us better. And I choose to make me better. So yeah. from pain to power, how you turn your power, how, how you allow it to power you, uplift you, so that other one can see the light in your life. Good for you. I love Thank it. You. And that, I love that you're helping other women. Thank you. That is awesome. So how can people buy tickets to come see you? Uh, Kings.com slash for my everything. And, and hopefully if you come, go ahead and get your tickets so that we need a head count. And, you know, and we won't wait till last minute. So right. it's just $5. And maybe you can get one for you and get one for you. Your couple friends. There you go. And tell them to pay you back later. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you know, so. Or do it as a gift. Don't even pay them back. You exactly, know? exactly. Exactly. Spread some love. Yeah. And matter of fact, since we're going to... Hey, let's flex our muscle. You know, that's oh, my yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. my little trademark. Girl, Don't make me look bad. No, no, on. no. Trust me. I, I, I am in no flex. condition to be out flexing nobody right now. You gotta now. hurry up before it goes away. That's right. It's just like a little bit. It's just flexing your muscles to better you. It's a mindset. It's yeah. not just a physical, but it's a mindset. Right. So flex your muscles to better you. Yeah, there you go. I like that. I like that. Uh, Kings.com slash Mighty, Ruth. Mighty Ruthie. Mighty Ruthie. Get your tickets. Get get more than one ticket. It's five dollars. Come on, you come on, come on now. You, come on, that's dealing McDonald's, that's Starbucks, that's, Frappuccino. Come on now, exactly. it's five dollars. Right, it's five dollars. Spend your five dollars the right way that's and right. come see Ruthie Bolden and Oliver. You gotta have some monarchs there as well. We right? some monarchs there. Uh, Mega and the Campbell, the Lady Grooms, uh, Moni, uh, Amber's one of the coaches and stuff. So. Uh, but it's, it's going to be exciting. Good to see the players. It'll be like a little mini reunion. Nice. 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 Hey, Ruthie Bowden, thank, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having this. me. Thank Always you. good to see you all. Absolutely. Thank you.